I would like to talk about a super important topic, which is the personalization of care as it pertains to genetic testing of embryos versus fresh, untested embryo transfer. First, I need to go a little bit into the background of these two options and explain the difference and how to think about them and which one may be right for you. Preimplantation genetic testing for aneuploidy was a game changer in IVF. It has dramatically reconfigured the way that we perform most IVF cycles in this country because by transferring only embryos that have normal chromosome numbers, we are excluding embryos that are destined to fail. So you are not ever doing an embryo transfer for an embryo that without our knowledge has no chance of success. So that's pre-implantation genetic testing for aneuploidy. I'll tell you the kind of scenario where it's the most helpful is someone between the ages of 35 and 40 who has a normal or even a high egg number. Now, if she has normal healthy ovaries and she's between 35 and 40, she may get eight embryos, but statistically speaking, fewer than 50% of those embryos will be genetically normal. And it could be all over the place. Like on her list of embryos, it may be embryos number three, four, five, and six that are her normal ones. And embryos one and two have no chance of working even though they looked the best under the microscope. I've even had patients usually in the older side of that range between 38 and 40, where even with normal egg numbers and high embryo numbers, the statistics fall to where they don't have any normal embryos in that cycle. And instead of wasting our time on multiple repeated embryo transfers and wondering, gosh, why isn't this working? Doctor, what's wrong with you? You're a bad doctor. Your lab is terrible. There's something wrong with my uterus. I'll never be pregnant because my uterus is not capable. When if you had just known that all of those embryos were abnormal, you would know that none of them were going to work. I have had patients who have had no normal embryos in one cycle, and then in the next cycle, they have three normal embryos. So it's just the way the statistics fall, and it's an incredibly, incredibly useful treatment. But in this country, we have gone too far into one size fits all, do genetic testing for everyone kind of treatment. And it is not the right treatment for everyone. Let's say someone is 41, 42, 43 years old, she has a normal egg number for her age. Normal for your age is low. A good IVF cycle when you're 41, 42, 43 is two, three, four eggs at a time. At those ages, fewer than one out of every 10 eggs is genetically normal and viable. So you can see why IVF success rates are so low at these ages. IVF success rate is lower than 10% per cycle when you're 41, 42, 43. In that scenario, I prefer a completely different strategy for women who are over 40 with low egg numbers is fresh embryo transfer with no genetic testing. I call this, take them out, put them in, are you pregnant? There is no choice to make. You either have a good embryo in that group or you do not. And there is no utility to freezing, thawing, testing. That costs many, many, many thousands of dollars. It takes a month of your time and it potentially over manipulates your embryos. So your delicate embryos from your 42 year old ovaries, they're gonna do best with less manipulation. So take them out, put them in, are you pregnant? Do you have three embryos? I call that throwing spaghetti against the wall and seeing if it works. You just put them all in. There is virtually no risk of twins and triplets. Of course, I'm not trying to make twins and triplets, but you're trying to see if you have a normal embryo in that group. And I have so many examples of when this has worked on the second or third cycle in a row. You just, every month you make forward progress. You take them out, put them in, are you pregnant? No, try again. And I'm not saying do it forever and ever and ever, but two, three, four attempts, very reasonable. And each attempt costs less than doing this with genetic testing. So you're trying to do this efficiently because the more eggs you can work with cumulatively, the better your chance of success. So you pay the same amount of money for two or three cycles of this and you cumulatively work with two or three groups of eggs, that is going to dramatically improve your chances over working with one group of eggs and over manipulating them by freezing, thawing, and testing. So I put this out there so that if you're someone who wants to have that option, you can consider whether you want to come and see me or not. It is an option that may not even be presented to you or offered at another practice. And that's because 
the reports, the pre-implantation genetic testing reports, it's black and white. If you get a report back from a 42 year old woman that says all your embryos were abnormal, the doctor doesn't even have to talk to the patient. The nurse hands that to the patient, says this is abnormal, bye, see you later. I mean, what kind of treatment is that? Whereas if we establish a relationship and you really understand the pros and cons of the different treatment, and you trust that if one transfer doesn't work, it was because you didn't have your lucky embryo in that group, but you may have a lucky embryo in the next group, that's what I'm going for with this type of treatment.